Um, Sally, that's my seat. That's where I sit to do my videos. Do you mind? Is it yours now? Outrageous. Oh, hi there. Welcome um, back to my channel, um, Tom Reads Things. My name is Tom. <laughs> I need a new, um, I need a new uh, intro, don't I? Um, hello, welcome to another trip. Oh, that, that's been done, that's taken. Um, I don't know, I'll think of something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so welcome back to my channel, Tom Reads Things, my name is Tom. Um, so, let's get started, second video. Um, so what I thought I would do for my second video is do a kind of newbie booktube, um, a booktuber tag. I haven't been tagged in this, I don't even know if this is a real tag, I just Googled some newbie booktuber questions and this is what came up. Um, just to let you know, my dogs are in the living room with me, so they're bound to make an appearance. Uh, so the first question is, why did I start this booktube channel? So, oh, here she comes. So everybody, this is Sally. Um, she is my oh, three-year-old Cocker Spaniel. We haven't even got into the first question yet and she's already made an appearance. Um, she's gonna be staying up here probably for the rest of the, um, for the rest of the video, I hope you don't mind. Do you want to come up? Come on then. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is just my life now. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you can still hear me. Um, this is just brilliant. This is just brilliant. I wouldn't have it any other way, would I, baby? Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Um, so welcome to the Harry and Sally show. Um, oh, God. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, they got down. They weren't comfortable. So, um, why did I start this booktube channel? So really the reason why I started mainly is because um, of my love of booktube, really. Um, I really, as I said before in my previous video, there's lots of um, different kind of booktube channels that I love watching. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I really wanted to be kind of part of that community. I wanted to have um, a chance to kind of talk about um, the way I think about different books that I read and I also wanted to kind of become more of a part of that community to um, kind of broaden my reading taste really. Um, I only started reading not that long ago properly, about um, a year and a half ago, maybe just over. Um, so I, ha I haven't actually read a huge amount. So yeah, just kind of hoping to um, uh, broaden my reading taste, uh, get to know some more um, people who enjoy reading like I do. Um, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> Got dog hair in my mouth. So the second question is, what can I uh, bring to booktube? Uh, so, don't know really, um, my dogs, that's pretty good. Um, I can also, I'm also gonna uh, hopefully be doing some um, videos on uh, kind of house renovation. We're kind of redoing our house at the moment. Um, uh, so I'm gonna be doing some videos on that. Oh, there she is, star of the show. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing some uh, some videos on house renovation. Actually, while I've got you here, I've got them down here. While I've got you here, I need you to do me a favor and tell me which hallway tiles you like best. And if you comment uh, down below which ones you like best, one, two, or three, and if um, you choose anything other than what I want to go for, I will have a little bit of a breakdown. So, Number one, these ones, these are for our hallway. Um, these tiles, what do you reckon? One, two, these tiles. My other half marks thinks it will just look like Christmas all the time if we have these in our hallway. I think he's an idiot. Uh, or number three, bit gray, maybe. Anyway, um, that's enough about tiles. So. The third question is, what are you most excited about um, with this channel? And really for me, it's about, um, like I said, broadening my reading horizons, um, uh, getting to uh, getting to know more booktubers, getting to interact and talk to more booktubers as well. Um, and also, I really, I've, I, I didn't realise I would like it so much, but I think after doing my first video, I really liked the process of actually making the videos. Um, and I think making the videos and hopefully I'll do some vlogs and things like out and about. Um, I really enjoyed the process of actually doing that. So yeah, that's what I think I'll, I'll like most about it. 
the next question is why do you like reading? Um, so for me, I think the reason I like reading is because I guess it's the same for everyone really. It's a bit of a form of escapism. We've all got, um, you know, kind of stressful lives, stressful jobs, things like that. So it's nice to have, um, to, to kind of open a book and, and just read and, and uh, uh, learn about something new or experience something new through different books um, that you read. Uh, and also it's something for me, reading is something that's just for me. It's not for, it's not for my friends, it's not for my dogs, it's not for anyone else, it's not for my other half, it's, it's something that I do on my own, it's, it's something just for me and I think that's really important. And uh, another thing I love about reading, it's not so much about me, it's more about um, my little nephew. So I've got a six year old nephew and um, he uh, can read now and he is, he loves reading. Um, uh, my sister says any chance he gets he's, he's reading a book or playing with their new puppy they've got a new puppy I'm going to try and meet it as soon as possible and I might do a video meeting my sister's new puppy very exciting um, so yeah I love seeing him uh, read and and uh, um, and uh, see his uh, see his enjoyment from it I, I really like that I think that's really good Okay, so um, the next question is what book got you into reading? And for me, it was um, quite an iconic book, um, especially in the UK, this book is really popular. Um, it's uh, Martine, Who Does She Think She Is? The um, Martine McCutcheon autobiography. Um, what I really like about this book is that it really goes into depth about um, her work on the Activia adverts. I'm only joking. Love Martine McCutcheon, but this didn't get me into reading. Go on over there, Martine. It's not for you. This is my moment. Um, actually, what really did get me into reading was that <coughs> I picked up this book in a charity shop in Cambridge. And this is, yeah, this, so this is what got me into reading. It's called The Black Death, An Intimate Story of a Village in Crisis, 1345 to 1350. And it's by an author called John Hatcher. Um, now, this book uh, follows the story of a village in, I think it's in Suffolk, um, and it's a real village uh, that exists in the UK, and um, it, it it's kind of follows their story from the beginning of the Black Death entering the UK um, until until the the Black Death had kind of uh, um, run its course in the UK, um, <clears throat> and it's interspersed with each chapter starts with. Um, kind of a non-fiction historical account of what was happening at that time in this village. Um, and then it goes into the fictionalized, fictionalized stories of um, uh, the, the protagonist who is the priest of the, um, of the village at the time. And what I really liked about it is as soon as I picked it up, it, it just, it, it's terrifying. I mean, the thought of, the thought of that they knew that this Black Death had ravaged Europe and was approaching them, had had reached um, English shores and was approaching them and there was it was cut each chapter um, starts with it getting closer and closer and closer to their village and there's tales from uh, people outside of the village that are coming into the village that it's getting closer and closer and closer and there's nothing they can do to stop it and I just think it must be it must have been absolutely terrifying and I think this book tells the story of the Black Death in the UK really really well so yeah I'd really recommend this um, the Black Death uh, by John Hatcher. So yeah, if you can find this and read it, it's brilliant. Um, another book that got me into reading was the first classic that I ever read, and uh, that was Robert Louis Stevenson's uh, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, now this book, again, it's, it's t it, the, the, the whole theme of it, the, the whole idea of it, that someone can become someone else and be so terrifying is, um, was kind of really scary for me as, as a young, young guy reading this. Um, and the way that Robert Louis Stevenson writes um, is incredibly eerie in this book. And uh, it's, it was also very short. So it's a really good way to get into uh, classics or Victorian literature um, if you are uh, interested in that at all. Um, so yeah, this was another book that really got me, uh, really got me into reading. Um, so the next question I'd like to ask my favourite booktubers, um, it's really the same question to everyone. How do you read so much? Um, my, I, I try and read as much as I can. Um, I, I, I probably read for about, um, an hour and a half each day, an hour and a half, two hours each day, but it's split up into chunks. 
Um, so just as I get going, I kind of have to stop. Um, so yeah, it would be kind of how to, how do you read so much? I know if you if you can make time if you if you if you want time to read, um, but yeah, how do you read so much? Maybe I read like a two year old. I don't know. I think I might just be a slow reader. Uh, another question I would ask is, um, do you ever read palate cleansers? So my so for example, I just finished the Binding by Bridget Collins and really really loved it. I spoke about that in my previous video. Really 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 loved it. Um, and I kind of knew already once I put it down that the next book I read, I really wasn't going to enjoy that much. Um, and it was true. I, 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 I didn't. And actually I DNF'd it. Um, and I think that was because I couldn't let go of the, the, the story of the binding. I, it was still firmly kind of lodged in my head and I couldn't let go of those characters. And I think I really needed a palate cleansing book to... Um, a kind of book that I kind of knew was going to be like a three star read, very, very short that I could just, you know, read to kind of get over the binding, if you like, um, before I started on the, the kind of next book that I wanted to read. So, yeah, I'd ask, um, do you read palate cleansers? Um, so the next question is, what um, do you think will be the hardest things to overcome with your booktube channel? I think for me, really, it's going to be my reading speed. I need to read. I'd like to be able to read more um, so that I have things to talk about in these videos other than um, tiles for my hallway, dogs and Marty McCutcheon. Another big thing is going to be I really I, I, because I don't really that I don't really have many people that I can talk to about um, books in particular. Um, uh, I, I'm not really used to talking in a kind of literary criticism way. Um, I, d I just know I like a book or don't like it and f kind of find it a bit hard to explain why sometimes. Um, so yeah, I think it will be, um, it will be quite a, a challenge for me to really think about putting into words what I liked about books, what I didn't like about books and um, kind of trying to get that across in my videos. When did you start reading? I started reading properly about a year and a half ago um, in June 2017. Um, yeah, obviously I read before that, but I read uh, m mostly in school because we had to. Uh, the next question is, where do you read? So I read mainly on the train in the morning. So I commute into work um, in Cambridge um, in England each each day. So I, I read about half an hour in the mornings, about 10 minutes um, on the way back from work and I read for about an hour in the evenings um, as well. Uh, so the last question is what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I really, what, what I've most enjoyed about um, uh, reading over the last kind of year and a half and getting into booktube is, uh, is kind of discovering more um, dif different types of books really. Um, I never thought I'd really like classics but I there there and I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with classics and Victorian literature there are some which I really really love um, and I'll do a book I'll do a, um, a, a video about classics that I love uh, coming up um, but there are some that I really don't get on with at all so yeah I like to read classics uh, another kind of genre of book that I, I didn't know that I would love but I actually really really do love is historical fiction um, and there's a couple of historical fiction books that I've read over the last year and a half that I really, really like. Um, so some of them I wanted to talk to you about. So the first um, uh, are two books in a in a in what I believe is going to be a trilogy by Minette Walters. Um, the first is called um, The Last Hours. And <laughs> I've just realised, actually, this is about the plague, that like the Black Death in the UK again. What's wrong with me? Am I obsessed with the Black Death in the UK? There's something weird there, isn't there? Um, this follows the story of a guy called, I think you pronounce his name, Tadeus? Tadeus? I don't know. Um, and how he tr is trying to protect his uh, his village or his town from the um, from the uh, from the Black Death and uh, and any people trying to come into his town or ransack his town. Uh, it, it's about him trying to protect it. And the second one in the series, um, following the same story, is um, called The Turn of Midnight um, by Minute Walters. So yeah, I would highly recommend both of these two. Here they are. Um, they're both chunksters, but actually they um, the font's really big in them, a bit like Mister Men books. So. Um, yeah, it doesn't wouldn't take long to get through those. The the next book I've uh, uh, I read kind of this historical fiction which I absolutely love. This is probably my favourite book of all time. All the Binding can't really make up my mind. Um, I've banged on about this book so many times to so many people that I know, um, and I'm constantly banging on about it on Instagram as well. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, 
please make sure you do. Tom reads things. Thank you very much. So yeah, that book is called uh, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gower. Um, this follows the story of uh, Angelica Neal, a high class courtesan uh, um, in 18th century London and um, uh, a merchant called Jonah Hancock. And it's kind of about uh, their friendship and their relationship and um, also a mysterious mermaid that Jonah Hancock um, comes by. Um, I really like the way that Imogen Hermes Gower writes in this book. It depicts um, uh, kind of Georgian London at its most rich and plush and um, vibrant. And the, the language that she uses is just completely captivating. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. Really, really highly recommend this. I wanted to read um, a bit out to you, actually, if you haven't read this before. This is kind of one of my favourite um, parts from the book. And it just really shows off Imogen Hermes Gower's um, kind of writing style. So this is where Angelica is is at home with her um, with her, uh, her friend, Mrs. Eliza Frost. She sits at her dressing table as cool and fragrant as a rosewater custard, picking at a bowl of hothouse fruit while her friend, Mrs. Eliza Frost, tweaks the last scorched curl paper from her hair. She has been laced back into her stays and half draped in a powdering robe, but there is a flush of the bedroom in her cheeks and her eyes are dragged irresistibly back to her own dimpling reflection as if to the face of a lover. A canary skips and whistles in its cage, Mirrors twinkle all about and her table is strewn with ribbons and earrings and tiny glass bottles. Each afternoon they carry it from the dark dressing room into the sunny parlour so as to spare their candles. But these measures will soon be unnecessary, says Angelica, as a little storm of hair powder flies up around her. When the season begins and there are more places to be seen, more people to see me, our living will be far easier. On the floor the crushed triangles of curl paper are dense with Wesleyan homily, snipped as they are from pious tracks passed out daily to the halls of Dean Street. I mean, seriously, come on. Imogen Hermes Gower, where is your second book? Give it to me now. Um, really, really love this. Highly recommend it. Go and pick it up. I might even do a video just about this. Um, so yeah, that's my newbie booktuber tag video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and do let me know what um, other videos you would like me to do in the future. Yeah, thanks for watching. Say bye, Sally. Bye, Sally. Say bye. Mm -hmm.